I shacked up with the Aesir, aye. Another of my spectacular failures. In capturing these spirits, you seek redemption. I just want to send these bloody monsters to hell where they belong. We found the Sanctum in Alfheim and acquired a locked journal. The inscription reads, The Consul. The Consul's journal? No wonder it's locked. That might be what we're looking for. We'll pop it over to the dwarves. They can take it from there. The Consul risked everything to understand the mistakes of our past. And now those lessons can endure. Thank you, Kratos. The Elves and we won't forget this. Can this lock be opened without damaging the book? The Elves in Freya's camp wish to read it. Brock never met no lock he couldn't lift. I'll get this sucker open and pass it along to them Elves with your regard. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. Get out of here! Boss has something. Look who made progress finding lean work. Ah! Oh, oh. oh, go on now, ring time, show the boss what you, you got. You arrived! Just in time as well. As you ask. <laughs> they look quite healthy. All of the little ones are now safely settled in their new home. You have my gratitude. Might have done it sooner. You sought the dragon's offspring. Why? Ah! To alleviate my heart-rending loneliness, of course. Oh, that was awfully forthcoming of you. I normally wouldn't be so candid, but it appears that Anxious Squirrel has learned a thing or two from you about, what was it, not caring about how others perceive you? So I will permit you this one glimpse of my weakness. To require others is not a weakness. My goodness, I had not expected such emotional intelligence from one of your... girth. I do not care. Oh, well, this was a delightful conversation. Ratatoskar, I'm curious. You said the tree had plans for you. What exactly has it got you doing? What do I not do, my decapitated delight? I overlook and maintain the stability of the realms, ensure that everything is running smoothly. And, of course, I tend to the world tree. I listen to it, make sure its needs are met. Do you talk to the tree? The tree does not speak in any tongue, but its intentions are clearly felt. Yes, I do realize how, for lack of a better word, kooky that sounds, but it is true. Is it saying anything right now? It's saying stop asking stupid questions! Bitterness manners! But, yes, it is saying something along those lines. Speak. The tree has become rather right, take the head. overgrown. Right. And? And, if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal, considering they hold all the rounds. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. 
We have seen these stags. Great. Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilers asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Fimblewinter prevented the stags from returning. And now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? A stag of winter. It looks hungry. Oh. Come on already. Just come back with me. I don't care how hungry you are. That's right, we got more food at home. Come on! I have to say, quite a nice change of pace helping these stags get home. For a moment, I was worried we'd have to kill them. Yes. You had a plan to kill it if it had attacked, didn't you? Yes. Are we there, by Septimus? I do not like you. I get that a lot. Two down, halfway there. Just one stag left. Thanks for saving the realms and all that. I'd have gotten to it myself, and with more style. But thanks. Hmm. You're welcome, he means to say. I'm surprised, brother. You think a stag would run in terror at the sight of you? Not exactly a calming presence, are you? I am always calm. Ha! Good one. Love! What now? The riddle! What gets bigger the more you take away? Love! What kind of chub buffling relationships you been in, Amir? That don't make any sense. Agreed. Oh, fun. I won't be lectured on the nature of a romance by the two of you duffers. Uh, yes. Bigger the more you take away. I... Oh. <laughs> Huntress is claimed to worship Skadi, but they kill just to kill. She would have never wanted that. No. There is purpose here, even if we do not see it. Your arrows will bring her down. Wow. 
one less Sather camp to worry about. What's it say, brother? The tremors. They come from beyond that gate. Let's find a way around. Dragon! Well, at least it's attacking someone besides us. Listening. Five hours due north. Two hours east. I said I would find. So, what happened? I... Do you remember seeing anything that could help us find the other? There were. I. Watch my head on these walls, brother. Am I not always careful with you? Oh, yeah. Always the lightest touch. If something destroyed this tunnel on its way through, it must be big. No matter the size, every creature has a weakness. Huh. Quiet all of a sudden. Here it comes! Of course. What's the such a beast in this valley. Well, always expect the unexpected, right? I just hope this means an end to all the shaking. Maybe by the time we're done in this valley, it won't be such a bad place to settle down. The autumnal stag. Hey, how about you follow me back home? Fall, get it? Yeah? No? No. Congratulations! You saved the Nine Realms from death by overgrowth. And you sort of saved my ass, too. Though it was really Venomous' fault. That was not our aim. I'll take what I can get. A job well done. Might as well check in with Ratatoskar when we've got the time. <laughs> the hilt is drawn to the gravestone. 
Really a king. Just called himself one because he killed the previous king. Someone you knew. Aldis. A kind man. A trusting man. He trusted this usurper. This Rolf. No. Aldis trusted me. And who that I am. I trusted Rolf. So now you seek revenge. A dangerous path. You're one to talk. I am an authority on the subject. You would do well to listen. <laughs> Mimir, tell me more of Yari. After leaving his family, he wandered the realms in search of something unnameable. But in all his wondrous travels, nothing satisfied him. Until he met another wanderer in search of something similar. Unnameable. He was called Soma. Let us find the final ingredient. Oh dear. Push forward. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. 
you with your hourglass. Thank you. Now I can leave for Volkvanger. A question first, brother. You wanted to make this valley your home. What stopped you? I remember this valley. It was on the brink of devastation when I found it. Was it a crater like you see now? No, but the town was in shambles. There was no home to... Did you see what caused the destruction? A battle unlike anything I've ever seen. I remember a great clash of metal in the sunlight. Thor, he wielded his hammer, but he was matched by a remarkable axe. This axe? Did it belong to a fair-haired warrior? Yes. She was fearsome. I remember her gloved hands brandishing that axe with exacting precision. Never has there been a weapon to match Mjolnir. But with that axe and that warrior, Thor was in for the fight of his life. It was Faye who fought Thor in this valley. It was more than just a fight. It sounds like Mom was beating Thor. Seems there is much I never knew about her. And now she is gone. Maybe. But her story here isn't finished. Very common, right? She's back for more! Is this a game to her? <laughs> <laughs> Retreat. Wise. I think I know who this Huntress is, brother. The Aesir called her the Untamed Fury. Why'd they call her that? Banya refugees, families, hid in this jungle to escape the Aesir. Ain't her yar search, but it was the Untamed Fury who found them, picking them off night after night until they were all dead. Ray chose the wrong jungle, and her retreat is strategic. <laughs> Dragon's here! Prepare yourself! Incoming behind you, brother! Oh, my God. 
quite the dragon slayer you are. I've half a mind to write a poem about you. Do not. Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. Swiggy! Travelers were told that by exploring the Nine Realms and beyond, they'd find a way into Paradise. Told by whom? Someone calling themselves the Blind Guest. Odin. Sounds like the bastard, doesn't it? We have brought you what you asked. Thank you. My love, she waits for me in Folkvanger. Now I can ask her to spend eternity with me. How can I repay you? Tell us what you know of that day. A battle. Thor and this woman with fair hair. They tore through the town. The rage between them was terrifying. Thor was enraged. I'm not surprised. No, the warrior, she was furious and fought light. Thor was drunk, slot, but she was drunk on something else. Rage, it was out of control. I saw her fury with every swing of her axe. Their battle destroyed this land. These stories. I have known Faye's anger, but never to this extent. We hide the parts we're ashamed of, brother. Mm. Mom must have hated Thor for what he did to the Giants. Maybe that's why she did what she did. She took part in the destruction of this valley. That would take a rage I thought her incapable of. Perhaps you and Faye had more in common than you thought. We both had secrets. But that kind of anger... I never saw Faye in that light. Even the brightest among us carry darkness, brother. <laughs> hmm. 
find this Reagan Keeper. I'd love to, brother, but I've no idea where we'd look. Or if the Keeper's even still alive. We will find her. Stags are returned Your and stags all are is... returned. A completist, I approve. Incredible! The Nine Realms are no longer in horticultural danger. I cannot thank you enough, but perhaps this will suffice. Arrogant believes he has evaded punishment just because you fixed his blunder. He is sorely mistaken, of course. He will be in a remarkable amount of trouble. Once I figure out how to punish someone whose narcissism renders him invulnerable to all forms of emotional warfare. Anyhow... There is one thing I'd like to know. Obviously, the time has come to talk about me. It most certainly has not. What? Why not? How dare you belittle my accomplishments? I apologize for arrogance. His volume has only increased over the years. And why shouldn't it? I single-handedly take care of the ding-dang world tree. Without your boy here, the realms would rot off the branches before you can say ingratitude. He does have a point. Tending to the world tree all on your own, it's no small task. Of course he's got a point, my dear Mimir. But singing your own praises, it's awfully gauche, isn't it? Who the hell else is gonna sing him? <sighs> and your question was? Oh, I've utterly forgotten. Splendid. Until next time, then. Please come back anytime. My words bleed through band-aids. Can't hide this and I just get on my ride and blast off. My scheme's so Ponzi, I'm a made-off. Weekend with Bernie, Donzi boat burning. Cigarette boat, the speed.